them to national prominence and it's not going away. Oh, two of the best culture builders. Can't wait for this game. Here we go. FAU has it first and an early three is too strong and the rebound cleared by Umar Ballo for the Arizona Wildcats who play with substantial pace. Umar Ballo, not a perimeter shooter. Here, this is where he makes his living. Back to the basket against Golden. Help coming out to Kylan Boswell, who rips a three for the opening points today. We had a lot of prolific three-point shooters on the floor. Kylan Boswell has won 46%. He's top 80 in the entire country in three-point percentage. And we saw it. The help was coming slightly for FAU. And we'll watch it as this game goes along, how they deal with Volo. Both these teams do like to play from the inside out. That runner won't go for John L. Davis. One and done yet again for FAU. Arizona has been tremendous on the board. There's that deep seal. Knocked away by Golden. He did it cleanly. No foul. Knocked away by Boswell. I see so many similarities between the style of these teams, offensively and defensively. If you drive, you better protect the basketball because strips are coming. Follow. That's a really tough floater, and we have a rebound foul that will stay with Arizona. You know, it was interesting talking to Tommy Lloyd about follow. It, it's going to go against Arizona, I should say. So we'll go the other way. Talking to him about Ballo, he said, we have to stay on him about his touch. That's something we know early on in the game, in practice, that we need to be on him about, especially regarding his balance. Here's a three to match. Oh. That's good for Elijah Martin. They're going to run that play a lot, Jason. Double staggers away for Elijah Martin and John L. Davis, who both have quick triggers. Tylen Boswell, the sophomore out of Champaign by way of the state of California. Hello, Larson, drive and find. Ballo at the rim. He staggered in midair and was challenged, and here comes FAU. Is that the touch that you're referring to right there? It was, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, a lot of drive and kick for FAU. Yep. Four out. We saw it so much in the NCAA tournament. Martin's called for the yeah. offensive foul, and that's the right call. Yeah, he got that left arm extended and up a little bit. But talking about this touch from Umar Ballo, would like to be able to dunk that. Vlad Golden, you we've seen him twice contest passes and uh, that shot against Ballo. Jason, it's really important that Vlad Golden stay out of foul trouble. When he is not in the game, this FAU team was completely different. There's Larson, a hard drive to the rim. Arizona has not finished at the rim yet. Guess what? Ballo is going to. You see how he buried Vlad Golden, pretty much put him underneath the rim. No chance there. And it was good that Vlad didn't foul there. We talked to Dusty May and he said, hey, we have to learn and teach Vlad Golden that he has to lose some battles in order to win the war. That's a foul against Caleb Levin. What does that look like for Golden winning the war here today? Not fouling right here. Right? He's out of position. And a lot of times you're going to reach down or you're going to try and block that shot. And instead, sometimes, Jason, you have to concede a basket. It goes against your nature right. as an alpha, right? Like, I have to contest every single shot. But Vlad Golden, look, they need him on the floor. Yeah. It's, it's the best way I can say it. The guy's leading the country in field goal percentage. He's surprisingly FAU's leading scorer. Yeah, 15 a game. They gave up a good one for a great one. That wouldn't go for Jalen Gaffney. Boy, challenge passing lanes early on both ways. And look out below, Keisha Johnson. FAU was asking John L. Davis, number one in black, to guard the power forward position. That time he risked trying to go for the steal. And if you do that against Keisha and give him a runway, he's going to dunk on their entire team. It's almost like an entire game of cross matches here. Yes. For FAU. Golden trying to go to work against Ballo, who's been really sturdy so far. Look at the deep seal by Keyshot. Yep. That's going to be a foul on Jalen Gaffney, but you're seeing it, Jason. 
Arizona wants to pound FAU down low. And look, there's the, the risky, goes for the steal, doesn't get it. And you're asking Vlad Golden right there. Could have got a foul instead. He pulls that arm away. And how about Keyshot Johnson? Man? I followed his career four years at San Diego State. Jason did a lot of their games. And what I would always say about him, he's a defensive energy guy. He's not that anymore. He's a complete basketball player in an Arizona uniform. Well, it's the, the good side of the transfer portal that you can end up somewhere and transform yourself late in your career as Caleb Love sinks a tough three. And speaking of trying to transform his career, right. Caleb Love, uh, kind of, kind of the, the scapegoat for North Carolina's disappointing season last year. That one got redirected off the foot of Golden, picked up by the freshman K.J. Lewis for Arizona. Love wants it, and he drives, attacking, and he ends up losing it. Arizona will have it when we come back, but a great start for the Wildcats. Uh, Caleb Love is always in attack mode. He plays the game like every single play is for him. Don't go anywhere. This promises to be a good one. I've always been told I gotta be strong. Thick skin, tough as nails. But to be everything for everybody, it wears on you. Black don't crack, they say. But it can. We all can. Reach out to a friend if you see them going through it. No matter who you are, being vulnerable is what makes us whole. Learn how to help at SeizeTheAqua.org. This is AG1, foundational nutrition to support whole body, brain, and gut health. Vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, adaptogens, functional mushrooms, all that and this. Start at drinkag1.com. This quarterback today, he looks daring, unafraid, bold, powerful, dominant. Yeah, but what about the tight end? What? It's the most underrated position on the field. Check this out. See, Cletus, you're not the only high-tech machine around here. Yeah, put on whatever you want. <laughs> Always repping, buddy. I love it. It's your next celebrity guessing game obsession. The game is simple. A relative of a famous person will come out here and sing. Who's the celebrity behind the relative? We Are Family premieres January 3rd on Fox. Celebrate the holiday weekend with the gift of football on Fox. Let's go! First, on Sunday, title contenders collide in an epic showdown as Dak leads the Cowboys Ooh. against Tua and the Dolphins. Touchdown! Then, on Christmas Day, the gift keeps on giving as the Giants take on the Eagles. Oh, wow! It all kicks off Sunday with a doubleheader and continues Christmas Day on Fox. 10-3 Arizona and the Wildcats found space for another top 15 matchup in their schedule somehow as they, uh, you know, snuck six or seven of those in there over the course of this year. Alabama wasn't ranked, but a very dangerous team as well. The only loss is to Purdue. Balanced scoring, and we've seen it early on in this game. Bunch of guys getting to the rim. The rebounding margin is number one in the country, but generally, if you're going to be a champion, and I don't know, you have your own formula. Everybody's got their own formula. <laughs> if you're top ten in offense and defense efficiency, you got a chance. Yeah, it's the defense. I call this Arizona team the most improved defensive team in the country. Last year, they ranked 39th in Ken Palm defensive efficiency numbers. This year, second. Only Houston, the Kelvin Sampson coach, Houston Cougars, is better in that formula than than Arizona, and yeah, so they don't have Azulis Tubelis, they don't have Kirk Creesa, who are really good offensive players, but Kylan Boswell's a much better defensive player at the point guard position, Caleb Love is a two-way player, and Pella Larson has now stepped into that role as also a versatile defender. Yeah, more two-way guys, and Larson, as we mentioned off the top, at least briefly, had a big steal to spur a run against Alabama. Here's a three that won't go. It's well short for Boswell and a second chance whistle. Larson ended up with the ball. It's a tie up to Arizona. 
Well, Jason, rebound is going to be an issue for Florida Atlantic. They're not nearly as tall, especially at the perimeter positions. And we talked to Dusty May, and I asked him, what are the keys? He said rebounding. They've only been out-rebounded twice this season, but it's going to be an uphill battle against this long, tall Arizona team. Yeah, where are the answers there? Yeah. Floater for love is well shot. Nice Bobo's long arm saves the day. Floater won't go. They're playing volleyball now. It's the fast growing sport in America, and it's broken out <laughs> in Las Vegas. Okay, Vlad Golden is on the bench, Jason, and you're already seeing the dividends of that. FAU is going to have to gain rebound now. And it's not like Giancarlo Rosado, number three in dark, is bad, but he's not the physical presence and the rebounder that Vlad Golden is, and Umar Balo knows it. He's feasting down there. Casey, Casey. Yeah. He has six rebounds in four minutes and 40 seconds. So he's on pace for what? Uh, okay. <laughs> Do a little quick math. 24. Somewhere in like the 45 range. Yeah. 45 range. Wilt Chamberlain numbers? Okay. Yeah. He has not been a great foul shooter. He's 17 for 39 for the year, now 18 for 40. It's a one for two that time. Yeah, in fact, going to the, the free throw shooting weakness for Umar Balo, last game against Alabama, they did a hack of Balo. And they put him on the line in the first half. It wasn't even the second half. It was the first half to force him to make foul shots. Elijah Martin lost control of the ball. Got it back. Got a oh, kick out hurt. for three, and that won't go. And yeah. I think it was a knee on knee. Caleb Love is limping it off on the sideline. Yeah, his right knee, watch, knee on knee right here, totally inadvertent, boom, collision. Ah, oh, that hurts just watching it. You've had that happen to you, I assume. Every player who's played more than two <laughs> years of basketball has had that. You get ankle twists and knee on knee contact. That's probably the most frequent injuries. So Love comes out, and Arizona will go a little bit deeper on that bench. Look at Balo fighting for position, deep. Larson, shot bacon drive, and that was sweet. So Jason, the best time to drive as a perimeter defender is when your post guy's fighting and battling because the big guy's not ready to help. He's occupied, and that allowed Pedro Larson an uncontested layup. Now unforced errors, turnovers again. Boswell veering into the lane. Arizona just relentless. Is Bradley coming in? His first shot is there. Wow, what an offensive start for Arizona. They're getting anywhere and any shot that they want. FAU is in big time trouble. They need some points on the board. Keep an eye on John L. Davis, number one. He's got to rescue them right now. They were trying to hand off to him. Bradley denied him beautifully, and now here is Davis. Ripping it for a long three. That's way too strong off the hand of Foy. Arizona just playing downhill. Yep. Bradley, Euro staff. Oh, they're really feeling themselves right now. Dusty May's got to get a timeout here. Well, he's letting them play. And you hear this is not a neutral floor game. This is an Arizona home game at yep. this point. Davis got it down low, and they just needed to get to the rim. And they did. Playing inside out, getting anything they want. Arizona, Umar Balo, he's right here. And he's fighting for position. Deep, deep touch. And he, as he continues to fight, watch the shot fake. And because Giancarlo is trying to figure out what to do with Balo, he can't contest that at the rim. At the rim. And no Vlad Golden means very little resistance at the rim. Brennan Lorian makes a free throw. He's not been a great free throw shooter either, but uh, okay. Now Golden comes back in. Dusty May can't have him on the floor for 40 minutes. When he's in and Ballo is out, do you have to go through him offensively? Well, man, anybody making a shot would help, but yes, they like to play inside out. What their favorite plays to run, Jason, for Vlad Golden is to have him down low and bring all the four guards up above the foul line and trying to go up and over. But here's the problem. Arizona has multiple seven-footers. Right now you're looking at number 14 in white, Mo Crevis. He's a freshman, 7'2". So he can play behind Vlad Golden. 
Oh, he's got a seal down there. Boswell takes the three and misses. Previs had position that entire possession. Yep, shot goes up, and even though it's missed, it's basically like a post-entry pass. Inside position the whole way, 19 to 5. John L. Davis, Larson with a nice closeout. See how he fought hard over that screen, Larson? That's a block call, might have been a charge another year, but K.J. Lewis going hard into the lane draws another whistle against FAU. Kind of our first look at K.J. Lewis. How deep is this Arizona team to bring a four-star freshman, 6'4", 205 pounds? Man, it, he did, certainly doesn't look like a freshman, doesn't play like one either. Out of Duncanville High School, he was high school teammates with Ron Holland, who's a projected lottery pick. Plays for the G League Ignite. Those two guys on the same high school team? Yikes. KJ Lewis also, as a freshman, won their in house dunk contest. I don't have personal experience with that. Oh, I certainly do not. I like that shot from Pella Larson, though, Jason. You do. I do. I want him to be more aggressive. I don't want him to take bad shots, but he is as talented of a player as Arizona has on the roster. They're going to get a foul call there, whether it's Larson or the help coming from Boswell. We'll find out. They'll get a Lewis instead on the region, so it's on KJ Lewis. Again, Pell Larson, good defensive player. You have to pick up Brian Greenlee at 25 feet. That's just kind of a bailout foul there by KJ Lewis. A good call. Didn't need to do it. Did they call that on Larson? No, I think they got. I think they got Lewis. Okay. Well, the referees getting together there. We'll check during the timeout. Right. They can review things in timeout, so can we. Great defense by Arizona again, pinned to the sideline. FAU's gone more than six minutes without a field goal. Jason, this is interesting. When teams take it underneath, out of bounds against Arizona on the side, sometimes they put their center on the inbounder regardless if it's a guard or a forward and what they're trying to do is pressure the inbound and aggressively go for the first pass steal they almost got it that time instead FAU will have it here is Brian Greenlee hunting a shot defended closely by Larson Jalen Gaffney they didn't reset the shot clock so this all started at 19 Larson can't get warded off and still Gaffney buries the jumper and, and FAU fans here breathing a sigh of relief to see a three go down. Gaffney is more than capable, shooting over 50% from three. He had to create something out of nothing there. They're a top 25 three-point shooting team in the country. Metrics don't love that shot from Boswell as we have traffic in the lane and a foul called as we step aside. Jalen Gaffney, the fifth-year senior, played his first three years at UConn for Danny Hurley. Has found a home here for FAU, and the Owls need a lot more of that to get back in this one. A better banking app is right at your fingertips. Download Dave, and you could get up to $500 in five minutes or less right through your phone. There's no interest, no credit checks. And no late fees, because getting help shouldn't set you back. Switch to the banking app made for you, and you could get up to $500 in five minutes or less. Download the Dave app now, or go to Dave.com today. During Kia's Season of Giving Back sales event, give yourself the gift you've been waiting for all year. Like great deals on the confidently capable Sorento, and the spacious Sportage. Not to mention offers on the all-electric EV6 and the fun-to-drive Forte. Visit your local Kia dealer. Get 0.9% APR for 48 months plus 500 bonus cash and 1,000 trade assist cash on select new 2023 Sorento models. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. Wendy's new breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. I got that sauce biscuit and some Tay Tays. Eggman and Saucy Boy. Two hot coffees. No matter what you call it, Wendy's breakfast is that breakfast. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar piggy bundles. St. John's. Bam! 
takes on fifth-ranked UConn. Can you believe this? Fox Primetime Hoops, tonight at 7.30 Eastern. 19-8 Arizona with the lead over FAU, but uh, quite the 365 days in Boca Raton. For FAU, 35-4 and four last year. They win Conference USA. They go to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 21 years. Then they go to the Final Four. After beating Memphis on a buzzer beater situation in the NCAA tournament, you wonder how it all would have been different had that not happened. Dusty May, 10-year contract. They joined the American Athletic Conference. And look, we know, you know, you played in it. The NCAA tournament can make lives. <laughs> and it did for a lot of these kids and for that guy as well. But for them to all come back, yeah. Jason, like in this transfer portal era that we live in now, most power conference teams are plucking Vlad Golden. Vlad Golden would be playing for Kentucky or Duke or Kansas. And instead, these guys all made a pack together. Hey, we're going to run it back. We're going to try and do it again, prove that it's not a fluke, and really put Florida Atlantic basketball on the map. A sustainable program, not just a one-hit wonder. And then Gaffney had it blocked, but Golden stuffs it home loudly. Get Vlad Golden touches. However that happens, off the offensive glass, in the post, this team is so much more efficient when he can get going. To your point, though, the players to a man said, look, when Coach May says he's going to take care of us, he's going to take care of us. There's a great story in The Athletic about how he kept everybody here, and it was a couple of guys dipping their toes in the NBA waters, including John L. Davis, but they all decided together that the basketball was the most important thing, and they're sort of swimming upstream against the current of college sports, but they are something to uphold for teams that want to stay together. They're one of only five teams that didn't have a player transfer out. It's amazing. Right? And culture is a buzzword. It's it's often used too much, but it, I think it fits when you talk about Florida Atlantic Dusty May. It also fits for Arizona. Let's be honest about that, too. Flat Golden Hurt. He's down. Golden is down, and he's in substantial pain. This is a knee on knee again, and he already has a brace. You can see that padding on the left knee. And obviously, right here. Oh, yeah, he rolled his right ankle. So it wasn't a knee at all. Oof. Right ankle. Yeah, watch the right ankle. But he didn't step on anybody's foot. It was just a tweak. Which is pretty rare. Normally you see that, right, Jason? You're stepping on a foot inadvertently. Yeah. That time there was really, there was no contact. And he's holding his knee. Oh, boy. Oh. That's Man. a guy that they just need. I mean, how many times have we already uh, said it's, it? It's, it's true. And Dusty May and his teammates know. They, they know how valuable Vlad Golden is to their identity. Well, now it's going to be Rosario Dawson. Here's a floater for Love. That's no good. And the rebound couldn't get corralled by Rosado, and it's out of bounds to Arizona. Now, so Giancarlo Rosado is going to have to take a little bit more on his shoulders. Number three in dark. He is more of a playmaking, passing big guy on the offensive end, but he's got to be a stalwart here and hold up Ballo. He can't get dominated right here. They're going to go. Ballo, the help came. Skip it to the corner off the shot fake from Bradley. Mid-range two is no good. So now FAU within nine. Here is Greenlee with some confidence. Rosado over Ballo for oh. two. He can do that now. He's not going to turn his back to Ballo and try to back him down. He's going to try and use his footwork, agility. I'll feed Ballo quickly to the spin off the window. When he caught the ball, that ignited fast. Well, if he catches it deep in the paint, do not look to pass. <laughs> One dribble, put that ball on the glass. A chant of U of A breaks out. This is two guys going to town on each other right now. It's Rosado for two more. It seems like those are the only two guys on the floor right now. Let's just have all the, the other eight players just take a seat. Let's watch these two guys go to work. Collapsed out of that time. Love 
Got it to the wing. That three won't fall. Tipped in the air off the miss by Lewis. Here's Love off the window. Ricochet back out. Bradley on a hard drive. No. Bolo inside. No. Another chance and nothing there. And that's going to be a foul against K.J. Lewis. And that's his second. How about that? That was like five chances that wouldn't go. <laughs> so frustrating. There's oohs and ahs. But again, you see, even though they come up empty here, the complete and utter destruction inside the paint. And here's Rosado. And he knows where his strength. Play to your strengths. He's not stronger than Balo, but he's got a nice mid-range game, and he's a good ball handler. About that 11 offensive rebounds already. Crazy. That's it. Really is nice. Oh, nice spin in the lane. Martin couldn't finish. Bodies on the deck, and it's out of bounds to FAU. Incredible help right there from Bradley. So Keisha Johnson has the assignment of trying to keep Elijah Martin in front of him. Martin is so good on the shot fake. Keisha goes flying, and his teammate has his back. This Arizona defense is tied together in a way that they simply were not a season ago. After getting knocked out in the first round of the NCAA tournament last year by Princeton, Davis looking for a crease. Nice defense by Johnson. That second chance won't go. Same deal here, and finally, somebody puts it in from the doorstep. That's Brandon Weatherspoon, who is an emotional leader for this team. Plays so hard, it hardly run any plays for him. This FAU team undersized against Ballo, but hanging around. Bradley for two. He's been in attack mode since he came in. Yeah, he's the transfer from Alabama last year as a freshman. Got some nice playing time for Alabama, but... I'll tell you what, the confidence is growing. Elijah Martin for two. This FAU team is, is undaunted by Arizona's size and willing to attack the rim. And you and I were kind of worried about the start for FAU, and they have gathered themselves. They've been in big moments like this before. And down in game, certainly. Uh, there's going to be a foul called on that drive. It goes against Elijah Martin of FAU who trailed by 14 but this is Las Vegas chip in a chair man you're never out of it you're never out of it when you're sitting at the felt or you're driving the rim it's a five-point game with under eight in the first the warp rift is expanding all worlds within the Calaxian veil will be consumed this difficulty demands a specialist an ease specialist. Yeah, yeah that, that's me. Geico makes it easy to get coverage for what you care about. Cars, apartments, jewelry. Jewelry? And what about the warp rift? <laughs> I've got you. There, there you go. Oh. Dust in the cartridge. Goonie. <laughs> From cars to renters to jewelry, it's easy to Geico. The Challengers! From Denton, Texas! Weighing in at a combined weight of 690 pounds, Kevin, Kerry, and David Von Erich. Look at my beautiful brothers. The Von Erichs are the greatest family in the history of wrestling. The Iron Claw, rated R, now playing in theaters everywhere. Are you zillowing your boss's house to see what she paid? Awkward. Well, now you can Zillow a home loan for your own house. Now who's the boss? The Subway Series is getting an upgrade. The new number 33, the Teriyaki Blitz with double cheese and teriyaki marinated meat. It's like a perfect steak spiral in the double cheese coverage. If you say so, Peyton. Who knew the Subway Series could get even better? Ready? Ready. Let's duel. 81 contestants. Come at me. 81 categories. Space. Desserts. I love movies. And a trivia duel until only one survives. Terminator. Jerry Maguire. Uh, pass. Let's light it up. From the creators of The Voice and Big Brother. Let's go! Comes the most epic game show ever created. Who will conquer the floor? Rob Lowe hosts The Floor. Premieres January 2nd on Fox.
Arizona by five here in Las Vegas in this holiday season. Help Fox Sports and Good Sports give the gift of play to kids in need. Scan the QR code coming up right there on the screen and handpick equipment from your favorite sports to donate today. All sorts of royalty here. We have a king, we have Santa Claus, we have the Christmas lights from your house, all here at T-Mobile Arena. Well, they call this place Tucson North, if you haven't noticed. They do. <laughs> Tucson travels really well. Arizona fans are everywhere. You want some Elvis in your life? Yeah, you do. Always. The, uh, That's Christmas not my favorite Christmas movie, but I'll, I'll take it. It, it looked like the Big East on Fox uh, slot machines. Oh, that was John Fanta, <laughs> the fourth one on the right there. <laughs> I love John. He's one of my faves. Such a good dude. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Well, we have 30 seconds here. Oh, my goodness. Home Alone, probably. I watch and watch that. I've, I've watched that one every year since I was probably 14. Here's Larson in attack mode. You like that from him, right? I want Pella Larson to be more aggressive. But here's the thing. It's just not in his nature. He doesn't have a scorer's mentality. But his numbers are off the charts. A career-high 12 points so far. And he's shooting 56% from three. John L. Davis so confident in that jumper. His first bucket on an average of 14 and a half a game. Yeah, obviously important for him to get going. But how about this? An interesting develop. FAU has made five of their last seven field goals since Vlad Golden went out with a knee injury. How about that? We talked about how important Vlad Golden is. Well, they've offensively been able to find their space and their rhythm. We hope Vlad Golden can come back in this game, but it looked pretty bad. He's still kind of rubbing that right knee on the bench. Good shot by our director, Darren Foster there. That's a seventh foul on FAU. So Krivas to the free throw line. And that's Rosado's first foul. So can't afford a second one for him here in this first half. Yeah, they have one more big guy that we haven't seen. His name's Trey Carroll. Very good three-point shooter for a big, but but not the defensive stalwart that Golden is. This FAU team is deep. They are, and they've played a lot of basketball together. That's it, that continuity, right? Yeah. There's a lot of teams that are old and experienced, but not a lot of teams that have experience playing with each other. And their schedule has been treacherous. They had a win over Texas A&M, among others. They are, at least by Ken Palm, favored to win every game beyond today until February the 25th. So we expect to hear a lot about them as we inch toward the NCAA tournament. Yeah, that February 25th game is against Anthony Hardaway's Memphis Tiger team, which is pretty good right now. Davis created space, thought it over, missed the three, and Krivas soaring into the rebound. He threw it away, though. Weatherspoon, one touch, and Gaffney didn't take the three. And you see how much more confident the Owls are playing with? The ball's flying around. <laughs> Davis take away from Krivas for two. When this FAU team is playing their style, it looks like they're playing in their backyard. They're flying around. They're contesting passes. They're making the extra one on the offensive end. And even when the shot doesn't go in, they're playing together. We didn't see that in the first five minutes. Talking to Dusty May before the game, he really emphasizes lack of stress. Like, he doesn't want his team to play at all fearful of anything. And that's how this last, you know, five, six minutes has looked, really. Just a freedom as Golden is coming back in, Casey. Great to see. And, by the way, he doesn't have that knee sleeve. It's, it's pushed down on his left leg. But look at those numbers. 76%. Jason, are you kidding me? Like, I, I know he's a center, so he shoots mostly close to the basket. But even, like, five on zero in practice, it's hard <laughs> to shoot 76%. And, and last year, if you watched FAU play in their tournament run, Vlad Golden only averaged seven points a game in those five NCAA tournament uh, games. He's now 15 points. He's more than doubled his production. He came in seven for seven in his last two games. He has missed today as they will double on him working on that knee. And it's out of bounds staying with FAU. If you're dealing with Golden for Arizona, how do you test that knee out? 
double team and Arizona on the offense, excuse me, on the defensive end. They actually double team in a unique way. They double team off the strong side passer. There's only a handful of teams in the country that do it that way. Davis sneaking in. He wanted three. He'll get two. He never stops moving. Right? I, I love watching John L. Davis perform on both ends of the floor. And he's now on Keyshawn Johnson. Caleb Love jumps for three and misses. Golden over the top of the rebound. And here comes FAU, which was down double figures early. It's a 19 8 run. Davis, no. Second chance for Davis. Ball whipping around now. So much more confident. They were shell shocked at the beginning of this one. Golden down the lane, and he is fouled by Crevis. That's his second personal. John L. Davis on the inbound. He is right here. Constant movement. If you are guarding him, you got to stay connected on his hip pocket. See how he pulled Caleb Love's arm and went back door? That's a veteran move right there. It's very rare that the referees are going to see that because it happened so quickly. There is a toughness and a grit to this team. And Golden is part of that at the free throw line. He misses the first. For six years when he was growing up in Russia, he was a wrestler. That was his trade before he outgrew the sport. He said when people started going for his legs, he knew he was in the wrong place. And he took up basketball and has become this. I, I love watching guys improve year over year. And he's a great example, one of the most improved players in the country. And can I say, Jason, is he the most tan Russian <laughs> you have ever seen? I don't have, you played in Europe, so you have a they bigger are, bank. They are all pale. The, the guys that I played against in Europe, they're all pale. That, that guy's been using the Florida Sun to his advantage. I love that. Larson, hard drive, and he is fouled on the help side defense coming from the big guy, Golden. So that's his second personal. Yeah, he's looking at the referees right now saying I got pushed and that's why I picked up that foul It's tough to be a big guy in today's game where anytime a perimeter player gets a step They are taught to dive into the chest yep. of the help big man and oftentimes I got that call Pella Larson just did it First free throw is good. Watch this first step. Pella Larson gets it and watch him just dive right into the shoulders in the middle of the chest. That's not a I mean, yeah, he's moving a little bit, but I could have seen that go like a non-call. Yeah. That could have been a non-call. Play on, just a play on. You know, like who created all of that contact? Pella Larson did. It's not like Vlad Golden jumped into him. Look at you sticking up for the big guy. Seriously. Former Stanford guard, Casey Jacobson. <laughs> It's nice. Well, if nice. I played in today's game, I would just jump. I, I'd be trying to draw fouls every time I, I went to the basket, the way the officials call that. Why not? Based on the rule changes as well with block charges. Into the corner. Lorian might not be the shot they wanted. Yeah. Well, Arizona basically forced him to take that. They, they weren't even guarding him. Caleb Love off the window. That was smooth. Smooth. Caleb Love's offensive repertoire is, I mean, it, it's deep. He, he's got every shot in the bag. He's a difficult shot maker, which can be a gift and a curse, right? It's a gift because he can create a shot out of anywhere. But it's also a curse because he doesn't really know what a good shot is sometimes. Oh, Boswell, lead through the low. That was brilliant from Kylan Boswell. Arizona has every bit of the momentum in this game. As the ball goes sailing to Carson City. Well, you can hold down this Arizona team for minutes at a time, but then they start to find a rhythm and they can quickly break a game open. They get out in transition. Defense creates offense. And this is Caleb Love. Run, run, Rudolph, cause I'm reeling like a merry go round Epson Ego Tango wants to know, does your printer run out of ink at the worst time? <gasps> Cartridges. Tiny, dinky, expensive. <sighs> Don't get cartridged. Switch oh. to the cartridge-free Epson Eco Tank. Comes with big bottles of ink.
the bottle snapper place, then you just fill and chill. Prints up to 5,000 pages. That would have taken me like 80 cartridges. Welcome to Chillville. I love it here. <laughs> Switch at EpsonEcoTank.com. Just fill and chill! Gotcha! <laughs> yeah, take that! Ah! I'm fine. That smack looked bad. Not compared to the smack that I'm giving you. You sure you're okay? You know you're down 200 points, right? Whoa. Lucky she convinced me to get help. I had a concussion that could have been game over. In actual reality, you've only got one life. Don't mess with your melon. If you hit it, get it checked. Details make the holidays. Lease the GV70 for $5.39 per month or 1.99% APR for 48 months. Exclusively at your local Genesis retailers. Louisville. Unbelievable. Takes on USC. Wow. The DirecTV Holiday Bowl. Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern on Fox. Hey, coming up on the Fox College Hoops Halftime Report, Mississippi State goes for win number 10 while Seton Hall tries to ride the momentum from that big win over UConn in a dramatic finish you've got to see between Providence and Butler. J -j 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 Jason, Casey, who give me that coat? Back to you guys. Ooh, it's cold out here. I got here. Hey, it's as cold there <laughs> as it is at Providence when you do a game there. They got the hockey arena down below tonight, 7.30 Eastern, St. John's and Connecticut and some tough news for UConn today on Donovan Klingon. Talk about guys back for FAU, that whole rotation returns. Rick Pitino has canvassed the world to put people around Soriano at St. John's. And this uh, UConn team, number five in the country, Arizona number four, their only loss to number one, Purdue. Houston has made the Big 12 so much deeper with their inclusion this year. It's incredible. The Big 12 has been rated as the best basketball conference, I believe, nine of the last 10 years. And they have Houston this year, and they're going to have this Arizona Wildcat team next yeah. year. That just, like, my mind's exploding right now how good that basketball conference is going to be a year. No, I saw a little bit of it seeped out of your <laughs> left ear sitting next to me here. It is, it's going to be a wild league. We'll see, obviously, with some of the other teams like Utah are as well. What would you call that getup? Is that the Cowboy Santa? That's what I was going to go with, too, but it's got, like, a, a little a desert, three musketeers it a desert Old West Santa? Out in Tucson. That's how that's how they do it. Yeah, it's as uh, Boswell comes to the sideline over there. He's got a bloody knee. Boswell, not Santa, <laughs> to be clear. Although it is tough around the workshop right now. This well, is a 6-0 run in under a minute, Casey. Yeah, I mean, basketball is about a game of runs. Both of these teams are capable of ripping off 8-10-0 runs at a moment's notice. Right now, it's Arizona. This has Florida Atlantic on their heels. And interesting stat that in research for this game, Arizona shoots almost 50% out of timeouts. This was a timeout situation. They always are really efficient and get the shots they want. Love had it intercepted. John L. Davis playing the passing lane to the rim for two. What a read. He's one of the best in the country. And his running mate, Elijah Martin, number 15, is also equally as good. You cannot mess around with passes here. High low pass down for Johnson from Ballo. Right back across the lane. Ballo throwing elbows. He missed it too strong. And out it comes to Martin. John L. Davis went on a run of his own. That's a miss and a rebound for Boswell. Up a miss from Weatherspoon. Here comes Arizona. Is, is Kyle and Boswell built like a Mack truck or what? Man, most most point guards are built like birch trees. That guy's an oak tree out there. Stocky do. Seriously. Nice play to get the hand in by Greenlee to start this for Martin. Trailer Rosado and a foul called. Larson got caught in midair. And that's two on Pella Larson. Not sure why Pella Larson was trying to block that shot. It's the center. Instead, 
Just play solid, wait for help to come. Yeah, how good is Giancarlo Rosado been? Showing off his all-around skill set for a guy who's 6'8", 6'9". He was enormous in that game that got them through the first round in the 8-9 game. He had 15 against Memphis in that game. That was a one-possession game. And, you know, credit to Dusty May, obviously, for keeping the quote-unquote big names. But to keep your bench from a team that went to the Final Four out of a quote-unquote mid-major yeah. situation is so difficult. Oh, Jason, last year, Florida Atlantic led the nation in bench scoring 38 points a game. And, you know, Dusty May, he had a bunch of different lineups, and it, won't be, it wasn't because of injuries. Like sometimes he would start Brian Greenlee. Other times, John L. Davis was Conference USA Sixth Man of the Year. He's like their best player, yes. yet he comes off the bench. That's remarkable that these guys accept their role. They don't care about who starts. They just care about winning games. They have done that in space. 35 and 4 last year. Boswell probing, ducking, firing, and missing. This is out of bounds. And it's going to be FAU basketball trailing by four after being down 14. It seems wild. We're where we started this game to where we are now. This FAU team, their confidence is growing by the minute. Love this matchup here, Jason. Davis gave it up. Elijah Martin, a really tough three in the rebound for Bono. He's got 12. 12 first half rebounds. That's incredible. You went under the screen. Ballo, and we'll get a foul as FAU was clawing at Ballo. Jason, that, that's a mistake defensively. Florida Atlantic going underneath the ball screen. Kylan Boswell, 46% three-point shooter. It, he missed it, but you're playing with fire there. Um, I, I know that Dusty May didn't want that. He doesn't want to no. allow Kyle Bo Kyle Boswell is a jump shooter coming into the game. He took 81 shots 68 have been jumpers either mid-range jumpers or three-point jumpers. That's what he wants By the way, you mentioned him earlier Trey Carroll has come into the game because Rosado just picked up his second personal foul with 202 in the half Ballo does get that to sit down for him Umar Ballo he draws fouls. That's what he does. Last game against Alabama, Umar Ball drawed 11 fouls. Basically fouled out the entire front court for Alabama. It's a problem. So I, I anticipated that we were going to see Trey Carroll. Yeah, that was a tough matchup for Alabama, which is a fairly foul-prone team in the first place. But they've run into Zach Eady and now Umar Ballo. And that one was pretty. Two for two for Ballo. And you can hear the, the fans here. They, they appreciate Umar Balo making two foul shots in a row. There they stand up now. Mikhail North is what this feels like. John L. Davis against Boswell. Little screen from Carroll. Really nice. Taken away. Boswell, great defense. Caleb Love, trailer three. No. Ballo taps it over the shoulder and gets it out to Weatherspoon. Is there a three here on the secondary? That's a two that falls. And so for Trey Carroll, it's 35-31. Really nice exploiting the matchup you have. Jalen Gaffney, who was guarded by Umar Balo. You drive him to the basket, he makes one extra pass, and it's an easy pitch and catch bucket. It's well done by the Owls. They have hung around with relentless energy. Boswell whips it. Bradley didn't take the three. Mid-range two. No, sir. But John L. Davis has Ballo on him right now. There's a three. Oh, he thought he had it. He was backpedaling down the court. I think John L. Davis was calling to his teammates, get it back, we're going to go two for one, meaning you take a shot right here, make or miss. 
they're going to get one more possession are the Owls here. We don't see that a whole lot in college basketball, and it feels like a miss to well, me. I, this is just my opinion, of course, Jason, but I think a lot of college coaches don't trust their guards enough to make a good shot selection. The, sh the shot selection is, is the question there. And so I think Dusty May has clearly trust in John L. Davis and, and Jalen Gaffney, Elijah Martin. Well, that's the foundation of everything happening. Them coming back, that's the right word to use. Here's Ballo, who's nearly got a double-double in the first half. Oh, he's almost out-rebounded FAU's entire team in this first half. They could do nothing with him but foul him. It takes two bodies to move him anywhere. You get a deep position like this. Umar Ballo is not the best center. I wouldn't even say he's a top three center in the country because we've got guys like Hunter Dickinson, Zach Eady, Kyle Filipowski. But Umar Ballo, to me, is on that next tier of big guys, a problem and a mismatch for most teams in, the, in America. He has seven offensive rebounds. He's got 14 total rebounds. His career high is 16 rebounds. Happened last year at Colorado. He's almost getting that in the first 20 minutes of this one. I think he's going to get there, Casey. I'm feeling it. All right. With 14. Go out on a, yeah. on a limb. Careful on that limb there, Tiger. Caleb Love. Late shot clock for Arizona. Trying to minimize the two for one possession time for FAU. Love, long, triple. No. Rebound, Larson. And that is the danger. Second chance points. It ends up being two for one within Arizona's possession. FAU goes with basically five guards as Trey Carroll is going to come back in for offense at, at the center position. But you go with five guards and a long shot equals a long rebound. Everybody's got to do their job. One weak, one weak link in the chain leads to a Pella Larson putback. That was the 13th offensive rebound of the half for the Arizona Wildcats. So you, when you dominate the glass like that, Jason, you don't have to shoot well. You don't. You don't have to make shots. And you're going to have a lead. No, and to your point, they're 36% from the floor. They're two for 10 from three, and Arizona has a comfortable lead at six. Baseball pass, pass midcourt, and some contact on Weatherspoon, no whistle. And FAU will pick itself up and try to come back in the second. Of injury, fouls have prevented him from really making the impact that they need. Florida Atlantic, Jason should be fortunate that they're, this is still a two possession game. And it's in part because the guy with the ball right there, John L. Davis. Here's Weatherspoon. He bangs a three at FAU out of the shoot with a triple. That is one of their favorite sets. We saw it, they, they ran it to Elijah Martin in the first half. That time they get Brandon Weatherspoon to his strong left hand. He shot Johnson, dipped the shoulder. We have a whistle, and it's going to go the other way to FAU. How many sets does FAU have? They have six actions. That's, that's what Dusty May calls them. It's not necessarily sets. They have six actions, and off of those six, they have multiple options and reads. What Dusty May is like, less is more with this team. He trusts their playmaking guards, so he puts some spacing as paramount in this offense, but he wants the guys to just read what the defense gives. Like Gaffney did there, found himself at the foul line. It's a 5-0 run out of halftime. That is called a snake dribble, where you come off a pick and roll, and you immediately go like an S curve into the lane, and then you make your decision there. Knocked away by Golden. FAU has not led. Martin tried to nice. sweep the ball, take it away. That's Boswell up ahead for Love. He's got two, and again, Kylan Boswell starts transition with his hands. He has not had a good shooting game. Kylan Boswell just one for eight from the field offensively, but he is more than just a shooter. He is one of the premier point guard defensive players you'll find. Don't mess around with the ball, Elijah Martin. It's going to be gone. Zero dribbles on that fast break. That's how it's done. How about that? Great point. Arizona is slick to the rim. Every time FAU has drawn close, it's been the Arizona defense that stands tall. The Arizona defense, we just switched everything there and took away that lob opportunity for Vlad Golden. Elijah Martin skips to a stop in the paint. Arizona fans wanted to travel. Instead, Martin gets two. 
Oh, man, that was good defense. I mean, when you're guarding Elijah Martin, John L. Davis, your job isn't done. Like, you think you have them boxed up, and you have to continue to fight until you actually have the ball in your hands. What a dribble by Boswell, and two. A lot of older guys around him on this team, but such a steady presence. Kylan Boswell with the ball in his hands. Wow, this defense really extending now for Arizona. FAU has not missed here in the second half. Ballo at the rim of the challenge, and he's called for the foul. It's two for Gaffney and a chance at a tie. FAU so good at cutting. Right, so you think you're trying to deny this is Pella Larson who just got caught looking at the ball and didn't know where his player was and that put Umar Balo in a tough spot. That's really not Balo's fault. He's like trying to cover up for Pella Larson and he gets the foul. If I were to have asked you when it was 17 to 3 what the chances that FAU came back to tie early in the second half would be, what would you have said well, to me? I, I wouldn't have said zero. I wouldn't have said slim to none because I've seen every game that this Florida Atlantic team has played last year in the tournament and this season. I know what they're capable of, but this Arizona team, like, when they flex their muscles and get you down, they are so talented and good defensively that I was really worried. I was genuinely worried about Florida Atlantic. This is the most important and biggest regular season game in Florida Atlantic basketball history. Play the number four team in the country. Boswell wants the jumper. No, and the rebound foul going against FAU, reaching over the head of Keisha Johnson. I think Keisha got away with a little mini shove into the lower pack of John L. Davis. Just a little baby one. Big guys get that leeway every once in a while. Second foul on Gaffney. Hand off for Love, slicing the lane. Wow. He got it to one hand of Ballo who couldn't finish. Golden and Davis, back to Golden for the first lead for FAU. What does Arizona have in response now? Johnson, too short. Rebound tipped to the wow. arrow. On the hit ahead, Weatherspoon says, John L, it's yours. All the 50-50 balls, Jason, that were going the way of Arizona. All those offensive rebounds. Now, FAU is fighting back. They're all over the floor. Back and forth we go. Of course, we're in Vegas. Entertainment capital of the world. This game has been so entertaining. Two heavyweights swinging. Vlad Golden, it's good to have him back, healthy, flying around. The unselfish play. The Owls now. The tables have been turned. At Target, get low prices on parties. Get your party started for less at Target. Welcome to the Backyard Revolution, where you can turn what you have into what you love, where you can take control of your outdoor space from morning till night. Let structure revolutionize your outdoor space. Structure, bringing the indoors out. This quarterback today, he looks daring, unafraid, bold, powerful, dominant. Yeah, but what about the tight end? What? It's the most underrated position on the field. Check this out. See, Cletus? You're not the only high-tech machine around here. Yeah, put on whatever you want. <laughs> Always repping, buddy. I love it. Celebrate the holiday weekend with the gift of football on Fox. Let's go! First on Sunday.
title contenders collide in an epic showdown as Dak leads the Cowboys against Tua and the Dolphins. Touchdown! Then, on Christmas Day, the gift keeps on giving as the Giants take on the Eagles. Oh, wow! It all kicks off Sunday with a doubleheader and continues Christmas Day on Fox. St. John's, bam! Takes on fifth-ranked UConn. Can you believe this? Fox Primetime Hoops, tonight at 7.30 Eastern. Lovely Las Vegas. Arizona has led for about 21 minutes of this game, but not right now because FAU has a 7-0 run in under a minute. Yeah, they're not really doing it with the three. The three started it. That's Brandon Weatherspoon, but then his drives and cuts and tough, creative shots. If you have watched Florida Atlantic at all in the last year and a half, this is how they play. So free, so fun, and so together. They're 9-2 and two so far this year. They have the win over Texas A&M where they crash the glass against the Aggies in a big way. This is a major opportunity for seed lines for Dusty May. Yeah, major is an understatement. Now, they don't have to, to win this game to get in the tournament. But what I'm saying is, look, last year, the only power conference win that FAU had was against Florida. And that's why they, they went 31-3 and three in the regular season, but still got a nine seed. If they go 31-3 and three in the regular season, they're going to be a top two or three seed this year. But this game will go a long way. In a new league as well, up to the American Conference from Conference USA. Larson down the lane, double clutch. He kind of got caught in midair and didn't pull the trigger right away. FAU is six for six from the floor in the second half of this ball game. And a foul call. This from the desk of Ed Spita, our statistician. Master of the obvious has written this note that says FAU's lack of rebounding matters less when they shoot six for six. <laughs> yeah. And he's right. A good Merry offense. Christmas, Ed. Good offense is like makeup on a pimply face. It covers up all your defensive errors, it covers up all your lack of height. So you're saying that good shooting could help me? <laughs> the third foul on Larson, by the way, as Davis will go to the free throw line. Well, I, I had super bad acne when I was young. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're really unearthing some stuff yeah. here from no, Casey now. It's, therapy it's, sessions. That's nice. <laughs> it's an hourly rate for play-by-play -play announcers. John L. Davis don't have to worry about that. His, his skin is smooth just like his game, and he is now, I mean, he's going at Pella Larson, who I would argue is one of the better defensive players in the Pac-12 conference going at him like he has a mismatch and he just got the third foul against Larson we'll see how long Tommy Lloyd stays with him love over golden no sir rebound out to KJ Lewis the freshman Boswell hunting ballo it got to love actually no pun intended it's Boswell Whoa. and that skip is taken away by John L. Davis well because Kylan Boswell is now struggling with his jumper he's trying to force passes that aren't there and now Davis just trying to carve he turns it out wide for Gaffney oh Gaffney little shimmy down the lane and he gets fouled I'll tell you what FAU out of nowhere as is the way they typically do it just discount him, see what happens. Details make the holidays.
Lease the GV80 for $644 per month, plus get up to $3,000 bonus cash exclusively at your local Genesis retailers. Are you still zillowing for the perfect house? What? No. Maybe, yes. Well, now you can zillow a home loan and an agent to get you that house you've been dreaming of. Ooh, I love this for you. Celebrate the holiday weekend with the gift of football on Fox. First, on Sunday, title contenders collide in an epic showdown as Dak leads the Cowboys against Tua and the Dolphins. Touchdown! Then, on Christmas Day, the gift keeps on giving as the Giants take on the Eagles. Oh, wow! It all kicks off Sunday with a doubleheader and continues Christmas Day on Fox. Well, he tried to steal Christmas and failed, so he decided to take in college basketball this year instead. It's a little bit more of a warm togetherness function of the Grinch, and he's here to jump on it with the rest of us. <laughs> I have that same PJ outfit at home, You man. do? I do. Oh, that's lovely. Do you have these shoes at home as well? I don't. I don't know Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> well, you need to get on that. Donovan Mitchell last week in the win over FIU, Dusty May, a little post-game surprise. Donovan Mitchell and the uh, Adidas program choosing to uh, hand out some new kicks to FAU. That's awesome. I mean, Donovan Mitchell is a, a star for the Cleveland Cavaliers at the NBA and uh, is obviously an Adidas guy. And I hear that last year he gave out shoes to a couple of different high school teams. And this year he chose only one college team and he chose the FAU Owls. He chose a team that still hasn't missed a shot in the second half today. <laughs> How about that? I wonder if Donovan called Dusty at halftime and said, hey, man, that's not the team that I gave my shoes right. to. Turn it up offensively, and they have. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> this one coming toward the table and rescued by Weatherspoon. He was crowded out by Lewis. John L. Davis on the drive, zipping along the baseline. Back to him, running that entire baseline, front iron, and Ballo another rebound. That's the first miss for SA FAU here in the second half. Who will settle down Arizona offensively? Maybe Ballo. Yes. Jason, when Umar Ballo gets two feet inside of that semi arc underneath the bat, this is the charge circle. Just say for uh, you have to foul him, and I know that's Vlad Golden, but Umar Ballo is less than 50% foul shooter. You got to foul him there. Instead, he's got a double double, the 17th of his career. That's a tough play to make, and a foul against Bradley, who had to go for that. Watch Ballo roll here and just absolutely bury Vlad Golden. It's hard to do. That's two. That's one foot in the charge lane right there. Say good night. And I don't. I don't want Vlad Golden to foul there if you're Dusty May. But the guard's got to come down and make sure that he doesn't even get that shot up. Pretty good entry pass too there, right to the to the opposite hand to make sure that only he could get to it. I love when you talk about post entry passes mm. with me. That's like speaking my language right there. And Mike Montgomery, my former head coach at Stanford, we worked on that every day ad nauseum. Feeding, really? <laughs> pump fake up, throw down, make sure you're delivering the ball on time, on target to your post guys. Four point game. Into the post, John L. Davis with his back to the goal. Couldn't get it. Rebound again for Ball, who's tied a career high with 16 already. Bradley, floater, uh-uh. Rebound, FAU and Gaffney. And Ballo didn't even get across half court on that possession. Oh, man, Davis was not stopped by Ballo and a foul on the second chance by Rosado. The Arizona fans are shocked. Are they shocked that they're racing up and down the floor or that foul? I didn't see a lot of contact there on that offensive rebound putback. They'll get Bradley with the foul. That's disdain <laughs> on her face. Rosado, 55 and change from the foul line this year as he leans back into that one and drills it. He really does have like a natural fade. He doesn't yeah. jump. Obviously, he's shooting a free throw, but watch him lean back before he releases. That's not, this isn't textbook, but it works for him, I guess. Kind of. Yeah, it gets the job done ish. 
Ball is going to the bench. So mark it down 14-34. Arizona trailing by five. We'll see what playing a little smaller can do. That one's around and out, and the rebound for Arizona. Greenlee picks up Bradley at midcourt. Intercepted again. FAU creates another turnover. Gaffney steps back and knocks it down. Defense 101. Who has the ball? Nobody. Jalen Gaffney has one of the easiest three pointers he's had all season. And right now, Arizona, defensively, they're a little bit lost. They're not as connected. They're not as confident. And Jason, I'm looking at this lineup that Arizona has offensively not a single player in a white uniform has an offensive rhythm or flow like Balo's on the bench Caleb loves on the bench who is going to take the reins of this team right now Kylan Boswell two for ten from the field and just six points for Arizona in six minutes here in the second half is it Larson he stabs into the lane and drops it off down below for Lewis and his first two of the day really like KJ Lewis's game and that way, oh, that was a carry. My goodness. No call on it. Elijah Martin probing. Second chance, got the left hand on it. Rebound taken by Arizona. Maybe an open floor is what the Wildcats need. Nice pass. Bradley to Foswell, who didn't take the three. He wanted the floater instead. And you can tell that is a, a that three-point shot is one that he takes 10 times out of 10. I'm shocked that he turned it down it works out for him but Colin Boswell is going to continue to be confident in his ability to make wide open threes sensing the moment there that he wanted to get to the rim now Rosado nice. backdoor Davis the timing and rhythm of his cuts it is an art it cannot be taught it's a feel and John L Davis has it the youngest of four in his family. That jumper won't go. Rebound for FAU. To the wing. That three is well short. Second chance, Davis. He's flying everywhere for the Owls. And who is guarding him for Arizona? And he's clapping in the face of K.J. Lewis right now. He's wolfing. Chance of FAU. Lewis wow. spinning. Four, two and a foul. That is exceptional work by K.J. Lewis. The Florida Atlantic has certainly found their rhythm and spreading it around. John L. Davis, their, their junior, he's, he's their stud. Elijah Martin misses this. He has not really been involved. He's the second leading scorer for FAU. He's kind of been invisible, but John L. Davis hasn't been invisible. And then who is going to be the spark offensively for Arizona second half so far KJ Lewis with his second consecutive bucket he leads this second unit he can change the game with his scoring and his defense well, he called it when he was a kid he said I'm going to be an Arizona Wildcat maybe he's the guy to rev this engine here today in Las Vegas where Tommy Lloyd just doesn't lose with Arizona Rosado has it on a string over Johnson. He missed it. A lot of body there. Well done defensively by Johnson. Oh, my. That was near disaster. They're playing on the fringe there at the midcourt line. Larson driving tickets. Lewis collecting and driving. Boswell catches and shoot. He knew it was short, and it goes ringing up and then back down. The Arizona crowd is getting loud. FAU providing the resistance. What will the last 12 minutes bring? You gotta stay here. Find out with us. So we're down 34 to zero. Winning will be tough. That's why I brought in the E specialist. Right, Geico makes car insurance easy. With the GEICO app, you can check your policy on the go and get access to 24-7 claim support. Yeah! Yes! Let's make this easy! Oh! You know, that felt a lot closer. With your policy in your pocket, it's easy to get go.
For the perfect present, the perfect place is your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock. With service so good, it's guaranteed. This Christmas, order online and we'll have it ready for pickup in 15 minutes. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. The time is now. Okay, here we go. It's your last chance to sign up during Fox Nation's once a year sale. This offer won't last, and it's your chance to start streaming our biggest shows. I'm Rob Lowe, and this is Liberty or Death Boston Tea Party with the biggest stars. Perfect. It's just perfect. And your Fox favorites every day. Start streaming Fox Nation now for just $19.99 a year. Your last chance to lock in our exclusive offer. Sign up today. St. John's, bam, takes on fifth-ranked UConn. Can you believe this? Fox Primetime Hoops, tonight at 7.30 Eastern. Celebrate the holidays with the gift of football here on Fox. Tomorrow, an NFL doubleheader featuring a showdown between Dak and the Cowboys against Tua and the Dolphins. And on Christmas Day, the Giants take on the Eagles all on Fox. Huge, huge NFL action coming your way. You know, the, the elves are here. It's very nice to see. I don't have that outfit at home. You don't? No, not that one. You're renting it out for the holiday season. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, Oregon State, Washington State. I know you love when everybody wants to talk about the Pac-12 and the end of the Pac-12 coming up. But, I do not. Uh, yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Donovan playing it out three to four weeks. So Samson Johnson with a big stretch here for Connecticut, the defending champs. And how about Ole Miss? They got something brewing. Ansu Cisse is not walking through that door, but they're 12 and 0. <laughs> Ansu Cisse, I played with him in Germany. I haven't heard that name. No, you didn't. I, I absolutely really? did. We were teammates in Alba, Berlin, Germany. Yes, but Ole Miss, one of the surprise teams in the country. Chris Beard, a controversial figure, to be sure. But what I do know is that man can coach basketball. Ole Miss, man, they were they were terrible last year, and now all of a sudden they're yeah. awesome. I, that was the most random connection we could have ever <laughs> made it. on Ansu Cisse. 24 points in the second half. What's changed for FAU? Well, the ball movement. And I would say uh, John L. Davis, he's the alpha of this Owls team. And he has the ball right now. And when he has a rhythm, everybody follows. As I say that, ooh, that was either going to be a travel or a foul. What did they get there? Oh, foul. boy. It's a foul ooh. against Lewis, it looks like. He dragged that pivot foot as the foul was happening. That's an interesting call there. But to, to go back to your question, Jason, the other thing that has changed, if we take one more look at this, does he mm. drag this pivot foot? Are he establishes it? Oh, no, I actually think that was a pretty good call. It was a tough one to make. But the other thing that's changed, Arizona cannot make three-point shots, and it has affected their hesitation on offense. That's off of Boyd. It's out of bounds. The, the other thing about Arizona is they've missed 11 straight threes. They open making their first two. They're now two for 13. That can fix a lot as well. It absolutely can. We talked about the makeup on a pimply face. That's what the three-point shot does, right? But when you don't, it kind of exposes everything else. And right now, nobody's really confident. People are trying to force passes and force drives. Look at that double clutch from Lewis to start the possession. And there is a three that finally goes down for Johnson. And he made 11 threes combined or all last season at San Diego State. That's now his 11th three-pointer this year. It's a big change and a big transformation. This is out of bounds. Greenlee thought he was pushed. There was no whistle. And here come the Wildcats. You see how dangerous the three-point shot is? It can erase a deficit. It can blow a game open. And it just gets this crowd involved. Involved they are. Bradley starts the move. Johnson again. No this time. And the rebound secured by Golden. He got hit right in the face on that, that defensive board too, did Golden. Nick Boyd who missed seven games with a leg injury back in the lineup. Hasn't played substantial minutes today. John L. Davis with 10, hunting a shot off the screen from Golden. Davis, mid-range is cash. 
see how short, quick, and compact his release is? Yeah. It's so quick. He almost has it ready in the shot pocket just in case he's got to squeeze it off. It almost looked like a set shot. Yeah. He barely jumped, right? Yes. Yeah. When he launches from deep, John L. Davis, he barely leaves the floor. Here it is again. There it was. Same spot, a little bit behind it, but basically the same concept. I'm going to go back like 20 years in the NBA. His game reminds me sometimes of Sam Cassell. Oh, like okay. In the pick and roll, mid-range jump shooter, really quick trigger, smart player. That's a good time. Nice drive by Bradley. He's been really active in the second half. He's trying to earn minutes. Bradley is just a sophomore and has kind of had to wait his turn. But in this game where a lot of the Arizona starters have not delivered, maybe it's Bradley's turn. Came from Alabama. He spent the freshman year that he had with Nate Oates. Little bump, no whistle. Davis, long range. Oh, he got it again. John L. Davis is smoking. Pelo Larson's hands were in his pockets. That is inexplicable to me from a defender that is one of the best. I don't know how, why he did that. Bradley into Golden for two more. And so Bradley and John L. Davis trading buckets here. Hey, this place is buzzing. <laughs> they want to see offense. And we have in the last three possessions. Davis is over in the corner. Here is Greenlee on a string. Oh, reverse layup. That hesitation was nasty. Goodness. Owls are seeking Pella Larson. He's getting cooked out here. That is rare. Huh? Rare. Very rare. Inside. And Johnson may take matters into his own hands. Vlad Golden is tired right now. I mean, he is jogging up and down the floor. There's three Owls that are waiting to sub in at the at the scores table right now. See if they can get something out of Golden here. Boyd. Drops it off down low. Davis, no, it tangled off the rim. And it's going to go out of bounds. Arizona at 8 4 here in the second half. Trying to withstand this rush by FAU. Uh, timely subs for Dusty May. And your Caleb Love and Umar Balo also come back in for Arizona. Fresh bodies. I'm tired just watching some of the stuff. Yeah, and they need Ballo too. I mean, he has been awesome. 11 points, 16 rebounds. He's been out for a good chunk of this second half. Tough pass. Denied by Larson. Couldn't get it to Rosado. Bradley, a breakneck pace. Missed it. Rebound. Tie up. And Arizona will have it when we come back. But John L. Davis, Casey Jacobson. He is a hard driver to his left hand. In fact, 80% of his drives are to the left. Stop and pop. Sam Cassell S. Get a hand up. It takes more than just one guy to guard John L. Davis when he is, he's in a rhythm. Yeah, this game is so much fun. The Owls are in rhythm. How will Arizona adjust defensively? We're traveling all across America, talking to people about their hearts. How's the heart? Good. You sure? I think so. How do you know? Let me show you something. Put two fingers right on those pads. Look at that. That's your heart. That is pretty awesome. With Cardio Mobile, you can take a medical grade EKG in just 30 seconds from anywhere. Cardio Mobile is proven to detect atrial fibrillation, one of the leading causes of stroke. For a limited time, Cardio Mobile is available for just $74. Hurry, these prices won't last. Get Cardio Mobile today at Cardio.com or Amazon. Whenever you're hungry, there's a deal on the Subway app. Buy one foot long, get one 50% off in the Subway app today. Now that's a deal worth celebrating. Man, what are you doing? Get it before it's gone on the Subway app. Wednesday, January 3rd, it's the ultimate new superstar guessing game. What celebrity is hidden in the super sphere? That's all relative. I've been with this relative since the beginning. She looks familiar. Guess the mystery celebrity singing with their relative. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
score life-changing money. <laughs> Who is the celebrity behind the relative? We Are Family premieres January 3rd on Fox. Go. It's official, sports fans. First Things First is a hit. First Things First is a good mix of analysis, well-researched data, and total ridiculousness. <laughs> Nick, Brew, and Wiles no, are the no, MVPs no. of sports shows. <laughs> I'm Mahomes, you're Kelsey, and you're Andy Reid. I kind of want to be Mahomes, or at least Kelsey. Yeah, I think I'm more Mahomes. <laughs> first things first, weekdays at 3 Eastern on FS1. If you woke up this morning and you said, you know what, the only thing I don't have this holiday season is Santa in an aquarium and then Santa at a casino, we are here for you. We're here for you, Dunkin' Chain, you say to us and our crew. <laughs> I was not thinking that. That's not what I was. You weren't thinking that. Not when you woke up this morning. Oh my! Uh, John L. Davis, 23 points, 15 this half. How electric is he without the ball? He is in constant motion. And Jason, those are the hardest guys to guard. Okay, yeah, guys who are big, tall, athletic are hard to guard too. But guys that are constantly thirsty for touches and they move, they can play off the bounce, they can play off the catch. Those are the ones that are a real problem. And what a joy it's been to watch John Davis, who, by the way, Jason, did not score his first basket until like eight minutes into yeah. this game. Yeah, he was very, very quiet early in this game. Larson dumps it down. K.J. Lewis backing in, and it's Greenlee who was draped on him. How big has K.J. Lewis been for Arizona? So, Jason, I was asking myself, like, who is going to score and get Arizona back on track? And my... My thought process goes here. Caleb Love is the most confident player in the country. He wants the ball all the time, but he's 4 for 11 from the field. Umar Balo is a top 10 center, but he's 4 for 10 from the field. K.J. Lewis right now has been Arizona's best option. And what does Tommy Lloyd do? He runs a play to get him a touch on the block. It is back to the basket. Lewis has been an outstanding free throw shooter. There's Tommy Lloyd, who did quite some good work along with Dusty May to get this game scheduled by the way they both deserve credit Tommy knows what it's like to be at a quote-unquote mid-major with yeah. Gonzaga with Mark Few for two decades and they figured it out moving a game with Southern to next year and credit Southern for being willing to do that as well so we could have this game which is big for college basketball absolutely I'm so grateful for that and to be here with you Jason this is awesome oh thanks Casey I feel the same See, I'm not a Grinch. <laughs> no, I didn't think you were. Oh. Sorry. Rosado, the kick out on the drive. Wanted to get it back to Martin. He somehow spins to recollect that ball he didn't know was coming. That was an insane save. That's wild. Greenlee out of bounds. There's Larson dogging in there defensively. Yeah, they've been picking on Larson, and I pointed it out, and it's so rare because he is one of the best premier perimeter defenders and he knows it he, he knows they've been picking on him and he's got a lot of pride and that time he won that battle Ballo backing in on Rosado his pass knocked out of bounds redirected by Weatherspoon Arizona with 17 to shoot so we run a play to get Ballo a touch but the spacing Jason was off he had too many guys close to Umar Ballo and not spaced in the corners and that made it a difficult decision for Ballo Got to make it easy on your big guys. He's there to screen now for Larson, who wanted to get it back to him. Caleb Love hasn't shot the ball in a while. Now just two points in the second half. And that one spat out on him. It's down on the ground and taken away by John L. Davis. Hand up if you are guarding John L. Davis. Right there, K.J. Lewis, hands down the sides. You are playing with fire here. Lewis stuck to him for now. Screen from Rosado. Lewis got back to him. Elijah Martin dancing in the lane. Larson's right there. Glued to him. Gaffney with six. Rosado with five. On the drive into Paulo, who used his hands to pluck it away. Here comes Arizona. Trailing by four. For how long? Love wants three. A oh. rainbow! He is a big-time clutch shot maker. Say what you want about Caleb Love, and I've said it before, he's an inefficient volume shooter at times, but he is brave. He wants the ball. 
A rebirth at Arizona after a long offseason. Love warded off by Davis this time. Start and stop. John L. Davis loves swatting at him. Took a risk. Davis beat him, and Arizona takes it away. And a foul coming against John L. Davis. Three consecutive steals defensively. The hands are active. The volume is turned up. Arizona has stopped worrying about the offense and the shots not going in, and they're starting to to really dig in on the defensive end and shut off Florida Atlantic's water. When you have somebody like Ballo behind you, you can take chances like Love did there. That's what that's what really good shot blocking, rim protecting centers do. They embolden everybody on the perimeter. Larson, oh. Arizona leads. All these shots have a little bit less pressure when they're coming off of defensive stops. They're not trading baskets anymore. No, it's an 8-0 run right now for the Wildcats. Both teams have shown a lot of nerve, and Love got the hand in the cookie jar. And that's a one-and-one one coming. We got a lot of clutch shot makers on this floor right now, and Caleb Love is near the top of the list. That's a difficult three and he has not had a good game it's not like he's been in rhythm but he doesn't care and here's the go-ahead basket this is easy basketball a quick tight curl screen and that is either a lob to ballo if the defender backs off it's a nice little runner arizona the lead for a moment john l davis missed it golden got a hand on the Ooh. rebound and ballo lost it out of bounds fau takes over and Vlad Golden is asking for a foul right there. I think it was a swim move, and Ballo grabbed Vlad Golden's arm. But Florida Atlantic gets the ball back anyways. Larson and Davis matched up, staring at each other. Feed it for Golden against Ballo. Golden had it back tapped by Ballo, and now down on the ground, it's Ballo picking it up. How active has his hands been defensively? And we get a foul called against FAU on the drive there by Bradley. K.J. Lewis, go ahead and sacrifice yourself. I mean, Kylan Boswell, who's been a fantastic point guard for Arizona all season, is having one of his worst games of the year. And it hasn't really shown up in the second half because K.J. Lewis has stepped into that void. That was the third foul, by the way, on John L. Davis. Now Caleb Love for Larson, who thought about coiling into the shot. Now everyone suddenly wants to shoot for Arizona, and we got a foul. Down went Ballo very hard. He couldn't really brace himself, but he looks like he's all right. Third on Golden. Vlad was doing his best to fight in front, which is what I talked about at the halftime break. They don't want to allow just easy post-cut touches for Umar Ballo that time, just a little bit too aggressive. And honestly, he didn't need it, Jason. John L. Davis had the backside help, and if he doesn't foul Umar Ballo, that's going to be a steal going the other way. It's a one-and-one one here for Ballo, who's three for four at the line today. Strong day for Ballo, typically under 45% at the line. First of a one of one. That's way short. So he missed the front end of the one and one. One point game. Gaffney on Bradley. Got a screen from Golden. Double clutched and missed. It's that double clutch that did him in. Love off the outlet and a Euro step. And Caleb Love starting to smolder for Arizona. <laughs> I like that word. Hey, he's one of those guys that only needs like one, maybe two shots, and he already feels like he's on fire. You, I think he smolders after one day. Yeah, this is one of those where there's smoke, there's fire yes. situations for Arizona. I mean, Caleb Love, in the 2021 NCAA tournament, he dropped 30 points on UCLA, then followed up with 28 points against Duke. Uh, there is no stage that is too, too big for that guy, but it's been the defense. The defense for Arizona has really got them back in. We got ourselves an awesome finish coming up, folks.
Details make the holidays. Lease the GV70 for $5.39 per month or 1.99% APR for 48 months. Exclusively at your local Genesis retailers. I've always been told I gotta be strong. Thick skin, tough as nails. But to be everything for everybody, it wears on you. Black don't crack, they say. But it can. We all can. Reach out to a friend if you see them going through it. No matter who you are, being vulnerable is what makes us whole. Learn how to help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Welcome to AG1. Cover your nutritional bases every day and support benefits like gut health, immune defense, and stress management. This is whole body health in one scoop. This is foundational nutrition. Louisville. Unbelievable. Takes on USC. Wow. The DirecTV Holiday Bowl, Wednesday at 730 Eastern on Fox. Who said City Slickers wasn't the holiday movie? I did. <laughs> and you were right. <laughs> Arizona by three, but Las Vegas has been a very Viva festive Viva place Viva for the fabulous Tommy Lloyd. Viva you know what? Start the slot machine. You can't win if you don't play. Viva Nine and oh here in Las Vegas. Four wins against the top 25. Couple of Pac-12 tourney titles. Not Viva pictured. The coins falling in the bucket. And they're trying to get to 10 and 0. And everybody's singing along. In a very tense game, we just broke the tension with some wonderful <laughs> music. But Tommy Lloyd has done such a marvelous mm, job for a yeah. program that won a title in the late 90s, trying to get back to that sort of area of the stratosphere in college basketball, and they are really good this year. The best two-season start to a coaching career in NCAA history, and working on the best three-year start for Tommy Lloyd. Incredible. And to, and to remember, some people didn't like the hire. He didn't have head coaching experience. Guess what? Elijah Martin got a flyby. Ooh. And he ties the game. That was Silk. Well, Elijah Martin, who was Conference USA Player of the Year last year and one of the best players on the team, has struggled mightily to just have a rhythm and a flow. But, man, trust that this young man is going deep into his mind, mentally tough to take that one and make it. He said when he was asked why did he stay, he said it's not about the money, it's about the hoops. Well, you know? I'm sure there's a little bit of money there. That, was, well, that helped. You know what? That's right. Larson met by Golden. Oh, absolutely erased by the big Russian center for FAU. Davis hesitation, fade away. Oh, he got to his spot and he nailed it. What did I say? What? way does he like to drive left. left hand 80 percent of the time left hand drive and i know it's hard to take it away but then he just has the patience and the poise and that quick trigger just stalled out to settle himself and give fau the lead bradley in the contact didn't get the whistle bodies everywhere love for the lead no and a rebound a whistle and it looks like it's going to go against kj lewis in arizona it might have been the right call, but man, that was a late call. It was after KJ Lewis quickly grabbed that rebound. There was separation created by it, but you're right. So Vlad Golden has been in drop coverage until this one. He stepped up a good two feet to block that shot. And here's that last one. You know, John L. Davis just getting two feet in the lane, and then he just, man, he just knows what to do there. A lot of guys panic when they get in there, all those trees around. He never panics. He actually went slower once he got into the lane, changed the tempo so he could control it. So Gary, Indiana's fine as John L. Davis. They are looking to see who the foul was against. If it is Lewis, it's his fourth, and our replay monitor will be invoked. They can look to see who the foul was on. Yeah, they called it on number five down low. Watch the shove. Oh, you can barely see there. But he was starting. You saw. Yep. He was starting to brace on Gaffney. And here it is, number five. I'm. Mean, that's a barely. That. I don't know about that call. Look, I mean, I played in a lot of games, and they, th this goes uncalled all the time. By letter of the law, is it a foul? Yeah. There's a little bit of shove there. I'm not denying that. But when you extend those two arms, it's almost like a like a flashlight. 
yeah, that's what I was going to say, is is maybe you've seen similar contact. My argument would be because of the motion he yep. made it through attention to. Yep. So Jalen Gaffney makes the first free throw. He's got a big second half. Transfer from Connecticut gives FAU a four-point lead under three to go. This would be enormous for the Owls' seed line come March. Caleb Love poking into the lane, missed it too strong, got a hand of the rebound to redirect it to Larson. Don't need to force anything here. Shot clock reset to 20 seconds. We'll get a foul against FAU. John L. Davis, that would be his fourth. They'll give it to Gaffney, it's his third. Third on Gaffney. Boswell, just seven for eight. He's been very good at the line, but a small volume, and that one's good. He's got a pure jump shot. Like his stroke is, is fluid. It's compact. It's a little bit like John L. Davis in, in that regard. You're right, though. Just looking at the frame, he is a sturdy sort of fire plug running the point for Arizona. It might come as a shock to some people, but NBA scouts, the highest rated NBA prospect on the floor right now is Kylan Boswell. That's a young guard for Arizona. Weather score. Oh. Got it to Bolden somehow, and it swirled out. What a thread through to find the hands of Golden. Now Boswell chopping his steps, really had a notion on a three there, didn't take it. Larson, and that's knocked away, wanted to high-low it to Johnson. He had him open too, that was a bad pass, wide of the hands. Keyshot Johnson had two feet in the lane, that's an offensive foul, a bad pick by Black Golden. His fourth personal. Well, Black Golden, this is familiar territory for him. He averages 5.2 fouls per 40 minutes, meaning if he played 40 minutes a game, he would foul out of every single game. It's an issue for him. Dusty May knows it, talks about it with him all the time. With under two minutes to go, though, he's going to ride with his center. He also draws seven a game. He's just a very physical guy down there. Where does Arizona go? Caleb Love creating. has been great. For himself, for the tie, no sir. Follow clears the rebound, is 18th. Fly by for Larson, step back, three, no. And the rebound, Johnson's got it right at the end line. Wow. And that is a big shot. Down goes Larson. He got sideswiped by John L. Davis. And that's the fourth on Davis. The hustle, the, the hustle going on around here, Jason, is awesome. It's inspiring, man. The key shot, Johnson, rebound. Even, I, I know John L. Davis, like, his hustle. I know he didn't mean to run into Pella Larson like that. But every possession means so much. A stop and a score in this juncture of the game could, could mean the difference in a, in a win or a loss. Quad one opportunity for both these teams. We have seen runs start with defensive possessions all game long here. Larson... Tremendous foul shooter. Missed it. Oh. FAU is so good in close games, Jason. It like boggles my mind. Last year, FAU was 11 and one in yeah. games decided by five points or less. This year, they're one and zero. Oh. They haven't played a ton of close ones. Well, they're in one right now. 71, 70. 93 seconds left, and Larson looked at for a little blood on that right arm they will cinch it up and he's going to use the opportunity to become a mini hero to the crowd i mean here's a guy who used to drive to the arctic circle to go play basketball and train in sweden so a little blood on his arms not going to do anything but psych him up i love that man get the crowd involved a ton of tucson fans here here they are and here we go 
Boswell picks up Davis. Needs the body on him. Davis driving. Bono meets him. Boswell head up. Pull up. Kick it wide. Love. Yes, sir. Caleb Love became the poster for North Carolina's struggles last year, but you can see what kind of scorer he is and how rejuvenated he is in this new uniform. You cannot deny his talent, but how about the defense? This block by Umar Balo straight up until the very end, and he guards Donnell Davis really is about as well as you can without fouling, perfectly done. And then what do they do with it on the other end? The patience, the extra pass. Caleb Love, Jason, is always shot ready. He is always in attack mode. He just has, he, he thinks basketball in a different way. He makes mistakes, and he's been aware of it. Caleb Love is having a career year. He's fit in really well for Arizona. Now, it's a long season. He still has a lot of room to grow. But Caleb Love, career high in assists, career low in turnovers, and shooting a career high in field goal percentage with Tommy Lloyd's system. Tommy Lloyd said when Caleb Love got here, what he wanted, first and foremost, is fewer guarded shots. Right? Not necessarily within the offense necessarily, but that is a perfect example of how Caleb Love can be at his best. That possession ending up with him when the defense is thinned out. Bad shots are like turnovers, and bad shots lose just as many games as throwing the ball out of bounds or to the defense. Ask any coach in America, and they know that. Shot selection has been an issue for Caleb Love, but he's self-aware. I'll give him credit. He's aware. Like last year, folks, he shot 244 threes yeah. as a North Carolina Tar Heel and made just 30% of them. That is not good enough. He can't do that in an Arizona uniform, and so far he hasn't. Huge shots for Caleb Love. Late in this ball game, he has 17, a team high for the Wildcats. For Vlad Golden. And FAU, can they come back again? They were down 14. They led by eight in the second half after that early deficit. A minute to go. A lot of options for FAU. They're only down two. You don't need a three. Gaffney poking. Here's Weatherspoon into the lane. Didn't want to take the shot. Denied by Johnson. John L. Davis on Larson, tried to get it back to Golden at the end line, taken by Larson. Arizona's defense, if they win, it will be the Wildcats' defense that got him there. Incredible defensive stand there. They guarded multiple actions and stayed patient and poised. Davis can't foul, he has four. It's Boswell roaming in the lane against Golden. Tough shot. Rebound comes out to Gaffney. One on three. They thin out the defense. Davis missed it for three. Offensive rebound. Gaffney down low and Golden a stop with seven seconds to go. And a full out scramble ties the game. Sometimes those broken plays often lead to wide open layups or dunks. There's a lot of chaos going on. Defensively, Arizona's, they're trying to match up. They're trying not to be the reason that they get scored on. Long shot, long rebound. This is a really wild sequence here. Not a very good shot quality wise from Kylan Boswell. Caleb Love did not get a touch on that possession. But watch this, everybody kind of, no one knows who to block out. Long rebound. And Umar Bala wasn't even involved in that play until the very end. I'm not sure if he was just jogging back. Well, you see, he was not sprinting. And I'm not going to totally blame Umar Bala for that, but just you got to control what you can control. Sprinting back on defense is yeah. like one of the prerequisites. And right there, you see him barely come in the left side of your screen there. That's not good enough. And notably, he sat for a good chunk of the early moments of this second half. Timeout was just called by FAU, so Arizona has two left. What does this look like for the Wildcats, Casey? Caleb Love did not get a touch on that last offensive possession. He's been awesome. And K.J. Lewis, again, as a second option, as well as as a freshman, has been really good as a creator. 
Keisha Johnson is your center in this lineup right now. No Umar Balo. Boswell into the front court. Late in the game at the buzzer to short. And we have bonus FAU Arizona, which if you've seen the second half, you're in for. Not enormous, but impertinent players' pockets as we start an extra five minutes. And off the pinball, it's Davis. Big barrier put up by Love. On the drive by Elijah Martin. Here's Golden taking a shot. No good. I think he got brushed a little bit on this left arm by Keisha Johnson, too. Nothing came of it. Love behind Ballo. Dancing behind Ballo. Missed it on the three. Rebound for John L. Davis at FAU. Can you hear the crowd every time Caleb Love touches the ball? They all get anxious. There's a sizzle, right? Yeah, like he's electric. He is that. So is this guy. He hesitates, and he goes glass. He is so secure in what his game is, Casey. Secure is a good word. Like, some people are, like, insecure. They're always worried about what people are thinking. This guy, just, he plays the game. He knows exactly who he is, where he wants to go, and he knows that no one can really guard him over 40 minutes. Golden met love, and we get a foul. Golden goes down, hits the deck hard, and with that, I believe he just picked up his fifth personal. He yeah, did. You have to add insult to injury, right? He's uh, writhing in pain, and he just got the news that he fouled out of the game. And look, he's telling, he's telling the referee that, that the drive we was Caleb Love. Watch him lead with that elbow. That's tough. That's it. Tough for the official to see that. Watch that left arm. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough fifth yeah. foul. Tough fifth foul. I, I agree. I, I agree with you. That's a. It's not going to be an F1 in any way for, for Caleb Love there. FAU fans will say the whistle came late. Yep. Golden is done. And I don't mind a no call there. Yeah. But yeah. Th that's the the hardest call to make as an official is to not blow your whistle. It's the hardest thing to do. Especially with bodies flying. Up, huh? Caleb Love. Two for two. Yet another tie. He's a clutch free throw shooter. You remember when Duke went into Cameron Indoor? Mm -hmm. He makes four shots in a row in the last 30 seconds of that game to seal it. Larson hustling to get to Gaffney on his right hip, and he's right there with him. Pella has been spectacular defensively the last five minutes or so. Greenlee hounded by Larson. Fly by there from Love. That shot is short for Martin and FAU. Lewis to the wing. Love flying in, and he missed it short. Wow, what a break for FAU. What can they do with it here? Find Davis and let him cook a season high 27 for John L. Davis out of Gary, Indiana. Oh, pinned it between his legs. Gaffney a hard dribble, riding it in the lane, and another great defensive possession for Arizona. Larson, catch and drive, backpedaling now, under three to go. In the first overtime. And that's a foul on Elijah Martin. He wrapped it around. We could see it very cleanly. Really impressed with KJ Lewis. I, and, and I knew how good he was coming out of high school. And he has earned minutes this year early through defense. But I, I feel like this is one of the best offensive performances he's had. He's putting it both together. You can never have too many two-way guys on a roster. Get the feeling, too, that that started to build a little bit in the Alabama game. Nine points, 22 minutes in the open floor, and Golden can only watch. That is a huge loss for the Owls. Lewis was scoreless in the first half. He has eight after halftime. And he's wearing the Grinch Kobe Bryant Nikes, too, fittingly. He is. He's been a Grinch for FAU's offense. 
Boca as Whoville in overtime in Las Vegas. Love this matchup right here. Love it. Martin just glued to him for the fadeaway that somehow absolutely hits square. Are you serious with that? No. No. He's only 6'4", but he's so creative. But he makes up for that lack of height in the post because he has got he can go either direction, fadeaways included. And that's a whistle and a foul. They're going to get the screen for being illegal. Mm. Well, Vlad Golden got a call like that earlier in the second half. And here's the screen. Well, that's the correct call, and here's why, folks. He shot Johnson. He set that screen like the letter A. You see his body's shaped like the letter A. Yep. You need to be shaped like the letter H with your feet underneath your shoulders. That's a classic offensive foul, and this is classic. Like, fadeaway. Mm. Oh, my goodness. There is no defense for that unless Pella Larson was seven feet tall. That is, it's just ridiculous. Tied again. Two minutes to go in Las Vegas. Fabulous Las Vegas and fabulous basketball this Saturday. Back door. Davis spinning. He saw Barlow and retreated. Catch and shoot. Martin. Oh, man. No rhythm. Elijah Martin well, has no three-point rhythm in this game. Yo, I don't want this game to end, man. Not at all. That was literally breathtaking. You could hear the silence in awe from the Arizona crowd. He, he took a three earlier to start this overtime that barely drew iron. He, got, he gets his feet underneath him. Caleb Love is right there. Nothing but net. What you got, Is it insane? <laughs> it's insane. Wednesday on Fox, tis the season for the Holiday Bowl. Kick it off, baby. Let's rock. As Louisville rock. collides with USC in their Pac-12 finale. Wow. The Cardinals look to put the finishing touches on their best season in 10 years. Unbelievable! While the Trojans and their explosive offense aim to light it up in primetime. What a play! Louisville, USC, the DirecTV Holiday Bowl. Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on Fox. FAU by three on just a disgusting shot from Elijah Martin. Catch and shoot three. FAU has taken a three-point lead out of nowhere. The degree of difficulty, Jason Benetti, that we're seeing from these two shots. John L. Davis, this here, this is in a one-possession overtime game on a huge stage on national TV. These guys are playing in their backyards, man. Just incredible shot-making and skill. I'm here for it. I love it. This is why FAU deserves to be a top 15 team in the country regardless of what conference they play in with those two shots i'm reminded dusty may said to us before the game he said when we're playing well it's music and both of those shots were like orchestral in how they felt as we watched them and these guys play as connected of basketball as you will see across our country and this is why they're so good in close games, because they have these two shot makers. I mentioned last year, FAU was 11 and one in games decided by five points or less because they got those guys to create good shots and they make them. They even make difficult ones. There's still some plot to develop. Larson got square on that one and made it. Now you don't need threes right here, just chip away. Plenty of possessions left in this game, but this has got to be a must stop situation for Arizona. Lewis with four fouls in the stance, approaching Gaffney. Rosado in for the fouled out, Golden. Larson marking Davis. Recovered to get in front of him again. Davis to the baseline and a foul on Larson. He's complaining it was the right call. It was the right call. He did everything, but he just got a little aggressive. And we'll show you here. Sometimes the best thing to do, like you can't block every shot. Watch at the tail end. That's that's hand on wrist. Yep. That's an easy one. But he did his job. He fights over the screen, 
if John L. Davis makes that, you, you just got to say, man, this guy is on a heater. But you can't send him to the line in this scenario. And you have to imagine there's some fatigue for Pella Larson as well. He has really deserved time and a half here in the second half for what he's done just chasing Davis all yep. over Las Vegas. And, and let's be fair, I was critical of Pella Larson. He was getting attacked. He was getting scored on on the regular. But he has made his adjustments, and up until that defensive mistake, Pelo Larson has been one of the reasons why this game's in overtime. Well, and you love to see that, right? Yep. Even over the course of a game, somebody's pride is just too much to allow a couple of plays that didn't go his way take away from what is at the core of him. But John L. Davis, who only had eight in the first half, now has 31. <laughs> it's... Uh... It's been a joy to watch the shot making ability. And John L. Davis is one of the best scoring guards in the country. He's one of the best rebounding guards in the country, despite being 6'4. He averaged seven rebounds a game for Florida Atlantic. So he wears many hats. The, the hat that he's put on tonight that's fit real nice and snug has been Alpha Dog Shot Creator. Well, the, the wardrobe he's been known for is his sister with the shirts that have his face on it because <laughs> he was getting harder and harder to have him be able to see them. His family, when he was playing in high school, playing bigger gyms, it was like, hey, we got to we gotta let him know where we are. So they wear those shirts with his face on him, and rightfully so. I mean, look, <laughs> this team, if, if you watched the tournament last year and nothing else, and you thought, oh, oh it's a cute story. This is, it's not a cute story. This is a really, really bad bunch of guys. And how about this? Only three players on this year's team are going to run out of eligibility. They could run it back again next year. Terrifying. Yeah. Down three. Caleb Love coils into a three. He missed it. Rebound over the top. Back out to Love. Martin could not claim it. Love wants oh, it again. Man. Oh, no! He is a bad dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Folks, what you're watching is special on both sides here, okay? M most college players, they think, they say, yeah, I I'm, give me the ball at the end of the game. But in reality, a lot of these guys are scared. They don't want to take these shots because they don't want to be blamed when it doesn't go in. Caleb Love doesn't care about the blame. Give him the rock. Get out of the way. So impressive. And all the basketball we play, Jason, we are back where we started. We've gotten nowhere, but it feels <laughs> like we've gone so far. Oh, yeah. 82-82. Timeout, Arizona. One left for FAU. So if you're Dusty May in that huddle on the right, what does this possession look like? Right. Some of their favorite sets. All right, you can go simple here, which is just get John L. Davis the ball in his favorite spot. And you can run a side ball screen or a, or a top of the key ball screen and let him work. But if you do that, you risk getting double teamed. The ball's then out of his hands. So maybe an isolation play for John L. Davis. The other favorite play they run is where you get a double staggered screen away for Elijah Mark, who comes. We, we already saw it. They, they run that play all the time. Those are the two guys, of course. And then here about here's the other thing that Tommy Lloyd is talking to his team about. Offensive rebounds. Make yeah. sure everybody's blocking off as we take one more look at one of the most beautiful threes that you will see mm. in college this season, at least in the regular season. What a game. Mm. I, th this has every feel of a late-stage NCAA tournament game. It's not the same win or go home, but everybody's playing like it. And that's why a game like this is so good for college basketball. And now if you're FAU, just time-wise, pure time, when do you want to put this up on the rim? Well, we're still a two-possession game, right? 30-second shot clock. Yeah. We have 37 seconds of game time. So I don't think you really wait. Now, you're not in a rush, but I don't think you're trying to milk the clock. You're going to go right into your defensive set. We no, if you miss, we're still playing, right? The, the only thing I was going to say is if Arizona has something like 15 seconds, they then have a chance at a second chance on their offensive possession as well, putting it well down the road there. But it's going to involve that guy, John L. Davis, somehow, some way.
Now, Will Larson has got the assignment. Davis in the corner. Gaffney bumping on Boswell. So they are taking their time here. They're going to probably go under 10 seconds. Action starts. Rosado wants to get it to Davis and does. Little hold of Larson. Davis barreling down the lane. Got it again. 10.2 to go. FAU with the lead. Rosado got enough of Larson to slow him down and free up Davis. To which side? His left hand. He is so good, literally unguardable, unless you trap him. I'm actually surprised that Keyshot Johnson wasn't a little bit higher here. Look how low Keyshot is, and now you give John L. Davis a running start. It was still pretty good defense. I mean, I guess Keyshot could have blocked the shot, I guess, but again, Shoulder into the chest create that space. It looked like John Davis was bobbling that ball Just get it up on the glass and let it fall in this guy's Superman But Arizona has a Superman of their own Caleb love has to touch the ball. Okay, I don't He doesn't have to be the one to shoot it, but man he has got to be involved here and create those as good as John L. Davis has been, Caleb Love has had the answer for Arizona every time in pressure pack situation. And it's been not just this game, it's been almost every game that Arizona has played against a big, powerful team. He has stepped up. And there have been many against Alabama, against Purdue, and now against FAU. 22 for Caleb Love. It is just a two-point game. Do not need a three. Drive this ball to the rim. Caleb Love taking it out. Johnson refeeds Love. With six, now five, and we have a whistle, and Caleb Love will go to the free pro line. Well, obviously, that was not on purpose. <laughs> he was not trying to foul, but Jalen Gaffney, like, what's he supposed to do? He's backpedaling, trying to make sure that Caleb Love doesn't step into one. That's an easy call. Easy one. He got sideways. Yep. Tension in every fingernail in this place got the first FAU had just used its final timeout out of the make on the other side no timeouts left here we go I mean that was easy right so often you see college players miss one of the two of those I just, I, I just appreciate the performance that Caleb Love has put on, I, like a, as a basketball fan. This all has been top flight college yep. basketball. Davis at the near side, won't get it. They'll go down the sideline with Greenlee. Greenlee tries to feed it through in the corner, that shot is no good. And we will play. It's moving. And so do these 10 bodies here in Las Vegas. They didn't even have Rosado jump, but it ends up with FAU. Umar Balov does have 19 rebounds, by the way, for the record. That, that needs to be stated. He hasn't been a, a great offense.